Good morning and welcome to Daily Connections with Pastor Scott. Hope your morning is starting off well uh, and that uh, the beginning of your week is starting off uh, as it should. So uh, we're just going to have a little fun this morning and uh, my comments will be limited. Uh, but what shall I say? There, there are places uh, in the Bible uh, that are quite funny uh, for a myriad of reasons. You can't help but chuckle when you read some things uh, in the scriptures and we're grateful for laughter and uh, things that uh, humor us and make us chuckle. And uh, this King James language, uh, and I'm reading through the Bible in the King James this year, it's, uh, there's some, uh, some of the old English is, is, is funny. And uh, <clears throat> this is one of those places. So, hey, uh, don't shoot the messenger. Uh, this is in the Bible, which is the Word of God. And there's a reason for this text, and I'm not going to tell you what it is today. But there is a reason uh, that this is in the scriptures, and trust me, that we're just going to read it and enjoy it. Deuteronomy chapter 25, verses 11 and 12. And before I read this, I think about Tammy Wynette. Stand by your man. When men strive to gather with one another, that, that is when two men are fighting, and the wife of the one draweth near to deliver her husband out of the hand of him that smiteth him. And she putteth forth her hand and take him by the secrets. And thou shalt cut off her hand and thine eye shalt not pity her. <laughs> All right, let's pray. Lord, we thank you for the gift of this day. We thank you for your word from Genesis to Revelation. Every word, every jot and tittle of it is inspired by you. We thank you for the encouraging parts, the parts that challenge us and convict us, the mundane parts and the parts that make us chuckle. We thank you for joy, we thank you for laughter, and we thank you for being able to chuckle under our breaths as we read your word sometimes. May your blessings be upon us this day, and uh, Lord, may we uh, live this week uh, in the reality that man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. This is our prayer. Through Christ our Lord we pray. Amen. I'll see you tomorrow.